everybody welcome to the joy of trucking a lot of our viewers have questions about the kind of mileage that Kevin drives so uh, I'm going to have him talk to you about that today and in the meantime please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and now let's get right into the topic hey Kevin hi everybody Good to see you again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are at mile marker 42 on I-35 in Wichita, Kansas. Taking a load down to Oklahoma City today. And then we're going to start our 34 reset. Yeehaw! The weekend's almost here. <laughs> uh, an important milestone just happened. Uh, <laughs> looking at the odometer, I got 334,700 miles on this truck. Uh, that would be, I have driven it 65,000 miles. 24 weeks. So I got the truck April 9th, 2021, and today is September 25th. Uh, and according to the Werner app, I have 56,000 safety safety miles, which means which means I've driven 56,000 miles for the company, paid miles. So that other, which is like another 9,000 miles that were driven unpaid, like time or stuff like that. Personal conveyance. Personal conveyance and all that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, 56,000 paid miles in 24 weeks works out to about 2,300 miles per week. That's what paid. I'm averaging paid. Now keep in mind, I take a day off for every week on the road. So if I'm out like three weeks, I'll take three days off. So that kind of cuts into your average miles per week. Uh, most of the time, while I'm on the road, I've got my 34 resets. That takes a day out of the week. So really, I'm averaging five days a week, 2,300 miles. If I wasn't, if I was taking so much darn time off and being so lazy, I'd probably be making a lot more money. <laughs> some weeks I'll. I, I've but you it. need balance. You need balance yeah, in life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I was <laughs> if I was working a 40-hour week, punching the time clock, I'd get two days off every week, right? Yeah. Taking but, one uh, day off a week is not overdoing it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, you all wanted to know what, what the average miles were. And some some weeks I've made as much as 32, 3,300 miles. But that's offset, like I said, that's offset by the, the week when I'll have a day or two off. And then I might only get 1,400 miles or something like that. So the average per week, 2,300. And uh, right now I'm getting... 46 cents per mile. It's actually well, 47, yeah. but they take a penny off if you're on the per diem. Yeah. To cover, to cover the cost of it. Anyway, um, and at 334,000 miles on the truck, they're probably going to take it away from me pretty soon. Somewhere between 360 and 400,000, Werner takes their trucks and, and sells them. So I'll be assigned another truck at that point. I sure hope it's another Kenworth. They really like it. I always wanted to drive a Kenworth. And uh, back in April, they tried to stick me with an international, and I held out for a Kenworth, <laughs> and I actually got one. I was I was very happy with that. And, and now you have the keychain, so you're going to have to get a Kenworth again. A Kenworth keychain, <laughs> one of the dealers. Yeah. That's right. I earned that by sitting there three days waiting for a part. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you for sharing that information with us. Yep. I hope, hope that was useful for some of you. Yep. We hope that that... Uh, answers your questions because it is one that we get a lot down in the comments so remember if you have comments on this or questions put them down in the comments on this video uh, give us the old thumbs up and hit the subscribe button notification bell and we'll see you in the next video thanks for joining us with love from Tanya <laughs>